The rank of King's Council dates back 400 years. Appointees must be of the highest standard of professional reputation and integrity. Dr. Jamie Trinidad spends his time between Gibraltar and the University of Cambridge. He's published two books on self-determination and acts as the principal international legal advisor to the Gibraltar government. At a reception in the convent, the governor, Sir David Steele, handed Dr. Trinidad a letters patent. I hope that you'll find somewhere in your already overcrowded certificated <laughs> walls <laughs> you will be able to find um, a small space for this. And, and I will point out that, of course, it's the seal of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II um, because that continues until such time as His Majesty the King uh, issues his own seal. So it's issued on behalf of King Charles III with the seal of Queen Elizabeth II and so I think to a degree this is going to be unique and I hope that you will cherish this as a reminder of your amazing achievement and we all admire you hugely. Thank you so much. Earlier at a ceremony in the Supreme Court, Dr Trinidad was introduced by Louis Triay Sr. KC, Guinness World Record holder for the longest career as a lawyer. Mr. Triay said Dr. Trinidad was an accomplished academic and an exceptional candidate. Thanking the inspirational 94-year-old, the new silk recognised that his own career would not have been possible without the support of many who allowed him to pursue unorthodox choices. He said it takes a village to raise a KC, thanking in particular his wife Ruth, who he said makes as many sacrifices as he does as a result of his job. Most of Gibraltar's active silks were present, all men. Dr Trinidad said women are seriously underrepresented among the senior ranks of the legal profession and that the problem is structural as well as personal. With working methods evolving, he expressed the hope that many other Gibraltarian lawyers will benefit from similar opportunities to take the path less trodden, in particular those with primary responsibility for the care of young children almost always women. He said more flexible career paths are part of the solution.